And joining on the line is great to be chatting to Golden Guitar winner Tom Curtin. G'day, Tom. How are you today? Good, thanks, Clayton. Going really well, mate. How you going? I'm doing all right. Mate, I understand you've got some uh, shows that you're going to be performing in our patch. But before we talk about those, what's been happening with you with this little tour that you've been on? It's, it involves everything, I understand. Is, is there a kitchen sink that we can throw in to add to it as well? <laughs> we probably could throw in a kitchen sink and add something else. But, um, yeah, it is pretty full on. We've... Uh, we're sort of based in Catherine for about seven months of the year, and then we tour over the summer. So we've just done about 20 shows travelling through Western Australia, and then we've got uh, we've been touring through South Australia. So uh, for the last 20 years, I've just been breaking and training horses for a lot of cattle stations in the Northern Territory, and, and training a few working dogs. So yeah, we started up a an outback show called the Catherine Outback Experience up in Catherine, and yeah, we're sort of based there, but then over, you know, we over the summer months we travel the show, and so it's a sort of an hour and fifteen minute outback show, which combines the working dog and the horses and the liberty. We're trying to lie horses down and um, trying to ride a horse around playing a guitar and things like that, and then we jump up um, with the other guys in the band, and um, yeah, um, you know, spelled out a few songs as well. Yeah. So it's um, it's pretty pretty full on but it's awesome getting out to all these communities that i can certainly understand and the kind of show that you've got there that those communities are going to be absolutely loving every bit of it but tom there's an old saying in showbiz that you never work with animals and children and uh, how do you go with the, the horses and the dogs is it they always follow your direction or they just sort of have a bit of opinionated day sometimes yeah definitely and i think the, that's exactly right yeah um i think i used to have would be really fussy and really want well-trained dogs, well-trained horses, and everything to be spot on. But then um, a few years back, a dog, young dog got off the leash and started trying to round up the, the goats and ran a bit of a muck, and the crowd loved it. And so I said, well, you know what? We should actually be showing how we actually train the young dogs and the yeah. young horses in it as well. So now we've a lot of people um, give us horses and dogs they don't like or get along with. We just train them up, build up their confidence, and eventually sell them on to other farmers around the country. Wow. But, um, yeah, so the show is we've got a few old dogs, we've got a heap of young ones that have got no idea. So it's training them in the show. We get a lot of kids out of the crowd and mums and dads to help us. And, you know, it's um, same with the horses. We're trying to show all the psychology behind the training and, um, you know, things like that. So it's very much just a full-on show. And every show is different. I just fly by the seat of my pants as we go, you know. Wow. I'm just thinking some of those techniques that you're you're a master of, it seems. Uh, could, could you let me know some of them? Because I wouldn't mind trying them on a couple of the staff members here to see if they could improve their work output. <laughs> yeah, well, it's funny, you know, because it's um, even um, a while back I used to, I still probably do, uh, my work is up there in Catherine. Uh, I give a lot of people high fives, you know, and, yep. um, you know, and really praise them up when they're doing things right. And even if they're doing something wrong, I don't really go off my head and, you know, I just say, you know, it, we should try it like this and just try to be, because you're already, usually, you feel yeah. pretty bad if you do mess up, you know, if you're working for someone else, usually. So I think, um, and even the dog, you know, a dog or a horse, if you, they sort of know if they're in trouble and, um, you know, so if you really let your frustration out, it sort of compounds the whole yeah. um, issue. So I sort of just sort of, gloss over it a little bit but really highlight the positives and then you know so far it's been working for us but um you know i'm still learning all the, all the yeah. time i learn off people farmers other people that come along to the show and things like that so it's um very interactive and very i'm very open-minded you know so <laughs> you know even on the weekend we had this couple that um were married for about 60 years and wow. i asked them in the music side of things if they'd get up and show us how they dance you know i had no idea if they could but sure enough they got up and started um dancing away down here at yankalilla and it was just gave everyone goosebumps and so very much every show is just if there's an opportunity to to do something we'll just go with and see what happens does your little one get on stage at any stage he's (laughs) he's tried a few times he got little harry he's 15 months old and um he's just worked out how to stamp his foot on the stomp box and things like that so (laughs) Yeah, give him another couple of weeks. I'm sure he'll be there for sure. Uh, the musical talent doesn't fall too far, does it? 
<laughs> that's right. That's right. He loves it. Now, Tom, you've got a new song out at the moment. It's called In the West, and I've been watching the video clip for it, and I don't think I've ever seen a more Australian clip in my life. And and, and the song I mean, is great in itself, but just the clip that you put together for it, so how did that come about? Yeah, I suppose I'm very passionate about the lyrics, and I want to try to, you know, um, let everyone understand where I'm coming from and, and the, the lyrics and the scenery I'm, I'm picturing as I'm writing a song. And so I had to put um, the feeler out to a lot of mates up in the Kimberley in the top end that were, you know, contract musterers or helicopter pilots or people yeah, on the ground yeah. out there that um, had a bit of footage already. I'd filmed a bit myself, but um, down here in South Australia with the horses and things the previous year. So um, I had a bit in mind, but, yeah, I really wanted to just try to capture the true essence of, um, you know, what was going on. And also, because everyone's been hammered over the last few years with the floods and the droughts and fires and now COVID, um, there's still a lot of people out here and um, I really wanted to highlight the fact that this is why we're out here, you know. This yeah. is, um, it's a great place to live and great people and um, awesome community. So, and the whole concept really is to put on these shows and in communities, in country towns, and bring everyone together for the mental health aspect as well. We see a lot of people checking in with each other uh, from the stage or on the back of the horse and people catching up. So, yeah, I really wanted to bring people together to highlight the fact and, um, you know, it's really cool to try to put out a video clip that would all capture all those or the true essence of it. It's, it's a great clip, and the, the footage, the, especially some of those helicopters and that, you're right in it, and it's, yeah, it, it, I just thought this is a brilliant clip, and yeah, it's uh, very well done, and the song's really good too, So, but uh, I love the video. I just wanted to say that, so there you go. No, that's all right. Thanks, Heath, mate. Well, uh, Tom, your show, The Catherine Outback Experience, it's headed towards Wakery in the Riverland, then off to Clare, the Clare Valley, Melrose, also into Hawker, and then you've got William Creek, and you're up to the Alice by the 19th of March. You've still got some dates, folks. If you want to go, you can find out more details by going to Tom's website, tomcurtain.com.au, and then just click on the tour link. It has been great chatting to you, Tom. Oh, I'd love to keep doing it, and we'll probably do it at the show, I feel. But uh, I'm enjoying the conversation. I've got your song here ready to go. We can't see the video, unfortunately, because I think that would be better. But we've got the song, and I know the folks are going to love it. If you could please introduce it for us. Yeah, no worries. Well, this one is um, for the people out there that uh, live and breathe country they uh they battle away the last you know few years sometimes a lifetime out there so um i just wanted to paint a positive picture of the people the way of life out here and this one's called in the west with a stock camp crew out in the sun the choppers got them on the run a driver takes a trip Where the wheat belt boys with the chase of beer She's a jillaroo in the heat and dust Getting on a horse so loading trucks Stacking hay with the loosened grass And big days in the tractor cab Where the mountains rise And the eagle flies with thunder rolls and the red dirt lines where the western stars light up the sky and a silver moon goes sailing by it's good to be good to be good to be good to be out in the west good to be out in the west we're bending backs with the list of shears and why with the fence and gear With the camp drop boys with a sunburnt grin And we're loading bales with the cotton chin She saddles up at the break of day Drops them up and walks away In the Barkley dust behind the mall The way it is where we come from where the mountains rise and the eagle flies with thunder roars and the red dirt lies where the western stars light up the sky and a silver moon goes sailing by. It's good to be, good to be, good to be, good to be out in the west.
Living here, 